Cyklu mamy... Ah, yeah, Mets Day! Alright! Ah, favorite day! Morning! Ah, I better get changed. Welcome to week two's maths and this week we are going to have a look at the decimals but this time adding and subtracting decimals and we might go even further into the thousands if we can do a great job with these. Alright, we're going to have a video as well as some examples and um, all at the moment my stomach's a little bit sore. Oh, 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 oh there's a big hole. It feels like my hand is not itself. I just don't like it anymore. Blah. Oh, wow, that really smarts. Feels a lot better. Okay, so we're going to have a look at some decimals beyond the hundredths. So we did tenths and hundredths last time. So we're looking beyond that. So there's special things that happen when we go beyond that. Now in this lesson we take a look at decimals beyond hundredths. Now we have already seen the digits move to the left increase in place value by a multiple of 10 each time. So for example we have the number 2 there simply that's just two units or two ones if we put the 2 there but move it to the left, put a 0 there, now we've got two tens. Okay, we've got 20 there. Now let's put the 20 there again. Again, let's move it to the left. Put the 0 there. We've got two hundreds. Okay, we've got 200. The 200, let's write down, move to the left again, put a 0. That becomes 2,000, okay, which is two thousands. So going from 2 to 20, multiply by 10. Going from 20 to 200, we multiply by 10, and from 200 to 2000, again, we multiply by 10. So that's the idea of increasing in place value by a multiple of 10 each time. Now we're going to look at the reverse. Digits moved to the right decrease in place value by a factor of 10 each time. So again, let's start off with something we've looked at. 20 is two tens. Now put the 20 down, but then get rid of that 0, move things to the right. Then we're down to 2 units, or just 2. Put our 2 down, move it to the right. A bit interesting, We've got to, what do we have to put? It's actually 0 0.2 now, and that is 2 tenths. 0 0.2, move that to the right, put a 0 there. We've got 0 0.02, which is 2 hundredths. Now we're going beyond hundredths. There's our 0 0.02, move it again to the right, put a zero there. We now have two thousandths. So each time we moved, divide by 10. Okay, from 2 to 0 0.2, divide by 10. And that pattern continues each time. And even though that's all we've stopped at, it would continue forever. Okay, let's consider this number, 5.74283. The 5 is in the units or ones place. Then we've got the decimal point. Past the decimal point, the 7 is in the tenths place. The next digit, 4, is in the hundredths place. The 2 
is in the thousandths place, that 8 is in the ten thousandths place, and this 3 is in the hundred thousandths place. Again, that would continue on, but we'll stop at that point there. Now let's just shift the number up here. Now, we said ones, we can write it like that. The next one was in the tenths, we can write that as one tenths. The next one, one hundredths. Next position is thousandths, okay, one over a thousand. The next position is the one over ten thousand. And this final position here, for this number at least, one over a hundred thousand. Let's look at some examples now. What is the value of the digit 4 in 23.0647? Well, there's the 4. We've got to figure out what is the value of it. Well, let's look at the whole number part firstly, the 23. That 2 is in the tens column. So we've got tens, then it'll be units or ones, then tenths, hundredths, and thousandths. So the value is four thousandths. What is the value of the digit six in 2.9406? Okay, there's the six. That's the one we're after. But again, let's start with the whole number part. Now that two is in the ones column. So ones, tenths, hundredths, thousandths, and then ten thousandths. So that six has a value of six over ten thousand. Terrific. Now we're asked to write 5.327 in expanded form. So let's just write the number down again. 5.327 equals, now the first one is in the ones column. So 5 times 1. And then we write plus. Now the 3 is in the tenths column. So we're going to write 3 times a tenth. And then plus. After tenths comes hundredths. So that 2 is in the hundredths column. So we have 2 lots of hundredths. And then plus again. Moving to the 7 is in the thousandths column. So we have 7 times 1 thousandth. Okay, now that's one way of writing expanded form, which is fantastic. Another way we can write it is this. We can write 5 to start with, plus, well that 3 was in the tenths column, so it's worth 3 tenths. So we can write it like that. Plus again, moving on. That's in the hundredths column. We've got two of them. So we have two hundredths plus again. And finally, the seven was in the thousandths column. We have seven of them, so seven thousandths. Excellent. Well, that concludes the lesson. Good luck with your questions. Okay, I'm just going to take a quick break and I'll be back in one moment. Oh, I just want to talk to my son. See how he is. Hey Heath. Oh, Young, what are you drinking? Apple juice. Oh, Young, that's my favourite. Can I have some? Sure. Awesome. Oh, thanks. Bye. Yeah, bye. Yeah, oh, I love me some apple juice. Mmm. Okay, so we've got our own examples here. We have nine of them. Let's have a look at, we'll do one together, number one. So, we have what is the value of the two in 15.26? Is it two hundredths, two thousandths, two ten thousandths, or two tenths? So if we look at where the place value is, there are the tens, there are the ones, then the tenths and the hundredths. So the two is in the tenths. So it must be two tenths. So in that case, we would circle that one, or you could put a tick in the box. Okay, or you could just write down, so you'll probably do this in your piece of paper, 
right next to the number one, you'd write two tenths. Okay, so that's how that works. Right, number two is what is the value of the seven in 9.057? So what's the value of that place? Okay, number three, what is the value of the 5 in 0 0.000065? So what is the value of that 5? Number four, what is the value of 9 in 0 0.0459? What is the value of that 9 there? Which one of these? So remember, just write down the fraction next to the number. Okay, then carry on, finish the rest of those. Just watching out for these ones here. The which statement is not true one. So remember, not true. Which statement is not true of these expanded ones here. All right, 3.98 equals 3 times 1. So 3 ones, that's correct. Plus 9 tenths. Okay, that's 9 is in the tenths. Place value, that's right, plus eight hundredths. So the eight is in the hundredths place, right? So we know that this one is true, so it must be one of these ones that is not true. Okay, so do seven, eight, and nine as well, right? Then make sure you add response to this activity. Awesome, we'll see you next time.